you were an executive producer and you wrote the screenplay as well. Mm -hmm. Tell us a few words about it. The book had been given to me by a friend of mine who's a producer, Brad Fisher, and it was about to fall out of option at Sony. Um, he he gave it to me thinking it would be something for us to do together, and when I read it, I thought it was amazing. I thought it was an amazing book. And so we optioned the rights ourselves outside of the studio system from the writer, from Dennis Lehane, and then I wrote the script, and then we took the script and showed it to Marty, and he decided he wanted to direct it, but we were very lucky, I think, that the material itself was became available when it did and that we both were able to take a chance on doing something that people thought was very difficult material. What did you like the most about this book? It's very dark. It's very dark and it's it's very sad and I liked both of those things. I think it has many of the elements of great Greek tragedy. You mm -hmm. know, he's He's in a situation that is beyond his control. He's, I was talking earlier today about how it feels like to me that Teddy is pursued by the fates. Mm -hmm. You know, and there's their sort of, there's no escape for him. And in that way, to me, it's a very mythological tale. Mm -hmm. He's looking, looking, looking for a way out, but there is no way out. Tell us a few words about your relationship with uh, Martin Scorsese, this amazing director. Uh, it was an incredible experience. It continues to be an incredible experience. Was this the first time that you, you met and you collaborated? Yes, yes, yes. And it just happened once you sent the, the, the script? Yes, the, the, script. the script. And it was the kind of thing that writers dream about getting an opportunity to do, not just to work with someone who is, you know, arguably the best filmmaker of his generation, one of the best filmmakers of any generation, but to get to work with him all the way through the process, you know, to start with the script and be there all the way through casting, all the way through filming. All what was your amazing. best experience that you can describe us from, from the set? It's hard to pick one because the whole thing was so wonderful. But honestly, I think the best experience was probably the day when we covered Rachel Solando in blood. That was mm -hmm. a really fun day. And then, you know, covered the children in blood and put them, it was great. Is Scorsese uh, tough on set? I wouldn't say so, no. He's very compassionate um, with his actors, but very focused. Uh, mm -hmm. So I wouldn't call him tough. I would call him a perfectionist, though. Absolutely a perfectionist. And you have written also other movies. Mm -hmm. And this year, I'm sure this is a great movie. And also you were involved in another great movie of the year, Avatar. Mm -hmm. And I would like to ask you your involvement there with the screenplay. Were you involved at the screenplay at all? Because I read that you developed it with James Cameron? Is that No. Is that no, it was Jim's accurate? story. No, no, no. Uh, uh, about, this must be like 14 years ago now, Jim wrote something called a scriptment, which is a 90-page, um, very, very uh, involved document that had everything in the movie in it. So no, it's completely Jim's world, completely Jim's story, completely Jim's characters. Mm -hmm. But you worked also with I've with worked Cameron. with him on a couple of scripts. Um, I've been working with him for a little over eight years now. You, so. Would you consider him your friend as well? Yes, Are you absolutely. Nice out? Absolutely. Jim doesn't do a lot of hanging out. Um, <laughs> there's especially the last four and a half years. There's been very little hangout time. But uh, but yes, I definitely consider him a friend. Being one of the screenwriters that you had this amazing opportunity and honor to work with these two great directors, Scorsese and Cameron as well. Tell us how do these auteurs differ? I think the funny thing about it is that uh, you can't really compare them other than to say that they are, as you say, they're almost beyond auteurs because they're both people who immerse themselves in the process to where they sort of live and breathe what they're making. Um, and they're both very, very focused perfectionists and both incredible people, just incredible human beings. So I don't really know that you can compare them other than to say that it is, it's an unbelievable honor to have gotten to work with both of them. It's, it's amazing. It's not something that you ever, I think when you're starting out, ever think is going to happen to you. How about Leonardo DiCaprio? How about Leo? 
did you meet him? Did you? Oh yeah, no. It, did I you mean, you guys hung out on the set. Um, yes. Although I think everybody always, you do a lot of hanging out on the set while you're just sort of waiting for things to get set up. Yeah. So it's 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 a lot of people don't realize how much uh, filming a movie is waiting around while the yeah. lights get done, while the set gets finished, while you move the camera. Um, so yes, and also I was there for the rehearsal period before, for the pre-production and rehearsal period before we started filming, which is where I actually got to know Leo. Mm -hmm. So how is he as a person? He's a, he's a great person. I mean, I think probably my first focus is as an actor. We need to ask you some questions, okay? He's such an intuitive and such a... He's an amazing actor, but he's an amazing actor in this way that's, that's almost scary because it just comes out. Do you know what fear does to the mind? Corrodes it. Rusts it. This is a game. There's no... There's nothing in between him and the part. It mm -hmm. just He just completely is inhabited by it and completely slips into it. And it's really... It's really awesome to watch. Let's open a Greek chapter here. Tell us a little bit about your Greek roots and where does your family come from? Well, my grandmother's family is from Kalimnos and my grandfather's family, I believe, was originally from Rhodos, but they met on Kalimnos and then um, he was, his family was fishermen and they came to the United States, uh, gosh, I wish I could remember the year now. My father was born in 1930, um, but he was one of four boys. So they came early in the 1900s um, and they immigrated to Florida. They had four sons and um, as I was saying to you before, I have a lot of cousins. Did you go to Greece often? You know, when I was younger I did, before I had kids. Uh, I have not gone so much since, uh, since my children were born, but now that they're getting older, I think yes, we will mm. spend more time there. Would you like maybe to develop a screenplay? with the Greek subject. I know you did Alexander. I was going to say. Yeah, but I'm talking. <laughs> yes, I would love to. Yeah. Um, but I mean, in the future, do you have yes, anything in absolutely. mind? Yes, absolutely, absolutely. But the truth of the matter is, all stories ultimately come back to Greek roots. I mean, I'm sorry, but the basis of our, our mythological understanding of the world, you know, springs out of Aristotle and springs out of, of Greek culture. So mm -hmm. everything I do is informed by that. I, you know, I wasn't kidding. I really do think I really do think that so much of Shutter Island has that feel of, you know, Euripides, of, of that kind of inescapable tragedy. Do you feel Greek as a person? Somebody asked you, where do you come from? I don't think it's possible uh, or desirable mm -hmm. to lose that part of yourself. I mean, mm -hmm. and I think that, certainly I think that um, all the stories that my grandfather told me when I was a child, you know, the things that I were raised on, I wasn't raised on fairy tales and Cinderella, I was raised on, you know, Perseus and Medusa. Mm -hmm. I mean, much more interesting stuff. So, mm -hmm. you know, I, I certainly think of myself as Greek. How about filming a movie in Greece? Do you think Greece is this good film destination? Yes, of course. It's, it's a beautiful place and an amazing place, and it has um, a tremendous sort of variety of different kinds of locations and also the light is fantastic. Tell us the most Greek thing about you, of your everyday life. It's food. It would have to be food. Well, um, it's, I think probably actually, it's more like my grandmother, it's uh, food and feeding your kids. Okay, thank you very much.